what's up guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to register for the dbs update service so dbs is like a police check that is done in the united kingdom it's like a check run on a particular person to see if the person has been convicted of any crime whatsoever this dbs update service is done for almost all healthcare workers especially for those who be working with um the children adults and vulnerable people so dbs is something that is very common that almost all employers in the united kingdom actually ask for it especially if you are working in the health sector so if you are new in the uk say you came from outside the uk all this might be new to you and one of the things that your primary employer is going to do for you is to order for a police check on you that is a dbs now once this is done it is important also that you register for the dbs update service this costs 13 pounds per year and it's going to save you a lot of stress this is because if you want to work extra 20 hours like you are allowed to in another health sector say you came in as a support worker and you want to work you know 20 hours per week in a care home that care home will also request for a police check a dbs from you and most of the time they will not accept the ones that has been done by another employer they will want to order for another one for themselves and that is more money for you because you're going to pay for it but once you have your dbs on the update service you can just get your reference number and you give it to your new employer or your part-time employer and they'll just go online they check it and they verify it and you don't have to like worry about it you can just put it on auto renewal every year so today i'm going to be showing you exactly how to register your dbs for the update service in the united kingdom so this is an example of how it will come in so this is it i'm just going to open it now so this dbs is the one that the primary employer of the owner of this dbs actually um ordered for so now that we have this this is what it looks like i'm going to be putting it on the screen for you to see exactly what it looks like so once you have it what you need to do is to go online now there are different types of dbs normally we've got a basic dbs and the enhanced dbs and it costs from around 26 pounds to 44 pounds so imagine you pay 44 pounds for enhanced dbs every time you need to work with a different employer so it makes sense that you actually have your dbs on the update service and that's exactly what i'm going to be showing you in today's video so now once you have your normal dbs with you you need to register it for the update service within 28 days of receiving it so you go online and you get it all sorted let's jump on the computer and i'll show you exactly how you do that so on your web browser you type in dbs update service and you click on the first one which is from www.gov.uk that is the only acceptable website um once you are on this website you will see that there are different links of um how to request for a new dbs check so if your employer says that you should do it yourself or you just want to do it yourself you can actually use this link to request for a new dbs for yourself so now that you have your dbs with you you need to register for the update service so you click on that um they explain further how much it costs per year and um you can read further on it on the website but right now i'm going to click on register for the update service now it will bring you to this page where you'll be able to subscribe you know it's a yearly service unless you like cancel it so you'll be able to put in your surname your gender your date of birth your email address and your mobile number if you want so basically like i said the importance of this is that organizations can actually check for your dbs status without you paying for a new dbs every time you need to work with another employer so you fill in all these things and then you move on so when you are filling this form by default they ask you for application reference number now because you did not apply for the dbs by yourself 
most probably your employer is going to apply for it for you so you don't have the application reference number so you need to click on use my certificate number instead so as you can see it has changed and it is this certificate number that i am going to use for this application your certificate number is on your certificate you know the paper thing that i showed you at the beginning of this video so once you proceed it will give you this notice you know processing notice read about it accept their terms and conditions and then you continue so if you don't accept it you won't be able to continue the next thing is for you to put in your card details and your address and then you confirm that you want to make payments then your bank is going to like ask you for confirmation i did this on my phone so i confirmed it on my phone that yes i'm the one trying to make a payment and then it went through and it was confirmed so once that is done your um, application for the update service the dbs update service is authorized and once it's authorized you'll be taken to this page where they show you your update service id so this id is what you use to log in into your account every time you need to like check your account or change anything at the bottom of the page you see that you can log in to maintain your subscription so when you click on this login to maintain your subscription button it will take you to this page where you'll be able to log in with your update service id and your date of birth so once you log in you'll be able to see all your details your application number certificate number issue date and everything so the certificate number is what you give to employers when they ask for your dbs update service um identification that's one of the importance of this update service you can change your address you can change your email address i mean if you are just using the paper one and you want to change your address you'll have to order another one for 44 pounds or 20 something pounds but with this you can actually change your address by yourself online and employers will be able to see your current address your current email and everything that they need to know about you you can also cancel subscription if you don't want um, the dbs update service to be active for your account anymore like i said it's 13 pounds per year so if you no longer work in the healthcare system or you feel like you no longer need a dbs then you can always cancel your subscription from your account um i also want to add that you can do this also on a phone you don't necessarily have to do it on your computer so if you don't have a computer you can do it on your phone browser i really hope that was really explanatory thank you so much guys for watching please like this video leave me a comment below share my videos with your friends and leave me a comment in the comment section thank you so much guys for watching and if you have any video requests please let me know in the comment section and until next time when i see you in my next one bye bye